Our next guest is a talented musician and actress you know from shows such as Lizzie McGuire and Younger. She both produces, yeah. Bride's Head Revisited didn't do as hot. She both produces and stars in How I Met Your Father, which is available on Hulu with new episodes releasing on Tuesday. Let's take a look. Oh, I'm so happy you're home. I miss you so much. We don't have time for I miss you's dish. How was your date with Ian? Was he tall? Yes. Was he a good listener? Yes. Were his eyes as kind as his photo? Yes. <laughs> Why aren't you jumping? Because he's moving to Australia. Soph, I am so sorry. Did you bang one out anyway? <laughs> Please welcome back to the show, Hillary Duff. Hello, Hillary! Hi, Seth Myers. How are you? It's so lovely to see you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So happy to be on the show again. What took you four years to invite me back, huh? I know, it's really odd. I'm gonna take it up with the talent department. I'm pretty upset. <laughs> You, you haven't, let me just say this, it's been four years, you haven't aged a day. I have, you know, I had a lot of hair and makeup to help with that, but I, I definitely have. <laughs> well, one thing uh, in the four years since I've last seen you, uh, you have added uh, two more children. Congratulations on that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, sometimes I ask myself why, but for the most part, it's good. You just added one too, right? Yeah, so we've got a four month old and I think that is the conversation uh, my wife and I have every day, which is we love her, but we're also, why? Yeah, you can't, you can't not love them. Like they're insanely cute and lovable, but you know, you're like, wait, we had a good thing going here. What, what were we thinking? <laughs> so how, your, your oldest now is nine, is that right? He is, he is. And how Almost is he double with having digits. two babies around? 10 in March. Or two little ones well, around? How is he with it? Yeah. He's honestly the best. That's great. He's, he's, he loves babies. He loves little kids. He's so good with the girls. But he's my child that's just like all good inside. And my middle daughter, like probably the house is gonna burn down at some point. Like yeah. she's just a wild one, but. We love her and it's it's so much fun. It's just, you know, the no, the no sleep. Like, I heard you don't get your sleep back until your youngest child is six. You start like recouping sleep and that sounds like a really far way away. I, yeah, I have my kids later in life. So I think in six years, I won't be regaining sleep. I'll just be starting to die. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> so uh, I heard, you know, I'm very fascinated by the skills people picked up during the pandemic. Guitar, is this true? It's totally true that I started taking Zoom online guitar lessons. Um, shout out to Teague, what's up? Miss you, buddy. <laughs> um, my husband had bought me a guitar for my birthday, my 30th birthday, and I didn't pick it up for three years. And then mm -hmm. I started playing, and I can't remember anything, but if I took a class, I think it would still be in there. So we started with um, funny like theme songs to old uh, movies and TV <laughs> shows. So I can play like Batman and Mission Impossible and very easy, simple, simple things. And um, and I learned the White Stripe song. Uh, dun, 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 oh yeah, dun, dun. Uh, Nation, Army, Nation Army or something. Army. How many nations? Uh, yeah. uh, one of them, a, a number yeah. of nations. But please don't ask me to do it for you because I will fail miserably right now. <laughs> well, this he is very exciting. There's a stranger in your house and he's about to hand you a guitar. Uh, I heard, uh, this is very exciting, you made an appearance on a, on a very popular show that is uh, dear to you, uh, The Bachelor. Yeah, yeah, that is very dear to my heart. How did it's it come about that you got to appear on The Bachelor? Um, you know what, I think it was just promo for the show. It was like tossed out there with the, the promo packet, if you will, of oh. like options. <laughs> and my publicist was like, I'm sure you're not gonna be so into this. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why would you think that? Like, you don't know me at all? Like, I actually love The Bachelor and I haven't watched in about a year, but that we can blame my youngest child for that. Um, but yeah, I've been fascinated by The Bachelor for a really long time. So getting to go and be on set and have them like take my phone away from me, I felt really cool. Yeah. It's just top, everything's top secret. There's, 
maybe 75 producers like running around with like ear things in and but everything's just unfolding naturally like I don't know I thought there was going to be like a script and a this it's not really like that it's it is a like social experiment maybe we're all in a simulation I don't know it yeah. was fascinating I only watched one season and I got in way too deep like it I was way you, too emotionally right? invested and I realized I don't think I'm prepared to take this journey again. <laughs> was it The Bachelor or The Bachelorette that you watched? I think I watched The Bachelorette season. And I think that was- I mean, was both a... equally as satisfying. So yeah. you can't really go wrong. It's just, can you can you get in and can you stay there? Satisfying isn't a word I'd use. Oh, okay, okay. Like I found like it, like the way, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I've never done crack, but I feel like if I did, <laughs> I wouldn't say like, that was very satisfying. Was like yeah, addictive. I'm, with I'm with you there. I'm with you there. I might maybe use the wrong word. I also have not used crack. Yeah. But sometimes watching The Bachelor does feel that way. Well, it seems like we have our resolutions for next year. <laughs> so, oh. How I Met Your Father, this is not, I think a lot of people might assume from the title this is a reboot of, of How I Met Your Mother, mm -hmm. but it's more of a, is, is it safe to say it's a sequel of sorts? I think so. I think that's that's kind of how we're presenting it, uh, because there's it's a completely original cast, and you know we're not like picking up where they left off, or we're not you know my character isn't Ted Mosby. Like we are new people going on our new life adventure, figuring out things at thirty. Um, but it 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 ends the episode in a really cool way that I think people will understand our take on the show, and you know obviously borrowing. It's such a great concept to be telling your kid the story of how you met their their parent. And um, now it's being told from the female perspective. And um, yeah, and we play with a lot of like um, flashbacks and flash forwards, which tells a story like very quickly and brings a great energy. But it really is its own show. And, you know, it's about 30 year olds doing doing life at 30 and what that looks like now in the age of online dating and and limitless options and being like swipeable it's just completely stressful um but also you know it's a love story between a group of friends that are kind of a pack of weirdos that all love and accept each other and are just you know trying to trying to figure out their 30s and, and what they want out of life you have a very cool uh, narrator in the show that was obviously a big part of uh, how i met your mother as well and it's kim cattrall who is one of the coolest people in the world. Oh, yeah. uh, did you actually get to hang out with her since she was sort of a narrator role? Yeah, I, I spent a little bit of time with her and she's she's a beast, man. She shot like 10 episodes in one day. Like all of her stuff was really fast, but she just showed up and kind of schooled us all. I was like, oh damn, that's how you do it. You know, she's such an icon and I wasn't supposed to be at work and I'm like, oh, come hell or high water, I'm showing up like out of my way, where's Kim? <laughs> and um, you know, it's really cool to have her play play the, the, the future Sophie and tell that story. She's really witty, but she's like warm and open. And there's something, something comforting about having her tell the story and actually seeing her because I don't know about you, but it would be so nice to see the future me and know that I turned out okay. I made some good choices that got me to the right places in life at that point. So there's that like comfort in um, in that part of the show, which she's obviously a, a big part of. So also I, the show takes place in New York. And when I think of Kim, I think of New York City. Yes. So it's a cool element. Hey, thank you so much for being here. I do hope next time we can get you back in the city. Um, well, I really hope that next time you actually invite me to go day drinking with you. That's what I really want. All right, but here's the thing. Also, Wait a haven't second. gotten that invitation. All right, Hillary, but this is, I think a lot of people want to do day drinking. They think it's like, oh, it's fake or phony and you do shots of water. This is a real thing. I don't think you know me very well, Seth. Let's go. It's on. <laughs> Hillary Duff, everybody. New episodes of How I Met Your Father are available on Tuesdays on Hulu. We'll be right